Matt jumps in. He said, what's up? What is up, Matt? Uh, first topic of the day, not really a sports topic, but I wanted to hit on it anyway because I, I felt like it was uh, somewhat important, and it, it has to do with media, which is what we do, right? Um, Matt said, any murder hornet attacks today? Not a, not a thing, from what I understand, especially not in our neck of the woods. So uh, I wanted to bring up Dave Chappelle. He released the 846 uh, special. It's, it was put together by Netflix. He recorded it on June 6th, which was last Saturday. Uh, he has recorded, or not recorded, he's done two of these shows, which I thought was fantastic. Chris, you've watched it, of course. Uh, I watched it this morning. The setup was awesome. Like, I love the outdoors kind of setup. I think it is really cool, really intimate. You know, it's only 27 minutes or whatever. It is really, really well done. And I didn't want to dive so much into the topics. Um, and Chris and I were both kind of d- trying to figure out how to bring this up uh, without diving all the way into the subject matter. But I, I wanted to bring up, you know, it, and maybe ask the question, and maybe maybe Chris will differ with this, but I I wanted to say that, I, maybe I think that he is the best social thinker of our generation. And then I saw Bamani Jones tweet about it, and I think he put it better. He said he is the most effective communicator of our generation. And I think it is important to be able to communicate with an audience that actually wants to listen to you, right? I think that's the best part about Chappelle, and what he does is he makes people want to listen. Now, he is incredibly educated on the subject matter and whatnot. He doesn't talk about things he doesn't know about. Hey, Chris, tell me tell me your thoughts here. Ed, do you think that's probably the best way to describe him? I mean, yeah, it's a good way to describe him. He, he's just been around for so long, and he's earned the trust of everybody. That's this is all this is. It, it's all, and he even talks about it on, on this little special thing that he did here. Um, he, you know, he brings that up. It's all about trust. We, we have, no, and, and some of that is because our other outlets of things that we have to listen to are so untrustworthy. Even the things that we align with politically and we watch, we know they're filling us full of shit. We yeah. know that they're lying to Everything's, us. They know yeah. that all the things that they're skews. saying are so skewed, even in the direction that we believe. If you've got half a brain, you know they're just telling you what you want to hear. Yeah. Um, and, and, and so it's a, it's a combination of he, we're living in a world in which we don't have a lot of people saying anything that we can trust. And he's kind of been in our lives, our lives for a long time. And he's kind of always been super trustworthy. He's just out there. He's open about any of his flaws and, and he, he, he's, he says exactly what he's thinking. Yeah, which is what we try and do, and we're, I don't know that we will ever be capable of what he is is capable of doing, right? What what he does already. Um, but we try and be as honest as we can be. I don't know, be. do something Some, for 40 years and don't ever lie. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, if, it's if you hard. haven't, here's the problem. You have, first, you have to have an audience for 40 years, okay? Correct. So, find, or 30 years. Find find enough people that want to listen to you talk about whatever it is you're doing, skits, jokes, whatever, for 30 years, okay? And then throughout those 30 years, never get caught in a lie. Yeah. And if you do get caught in something that's mixed up or wrong, own up to it, admit it, and make it right. But but that's that's the only way you can do it. This isn't a talent. This is this is just a, the talent was getting the audience. The yeah. talent was being funny and being somebody that everyone wants to listen to and like, just to laugh at. Years and years and years ago, before he had anything like this to say, he's he is very he's incredibly honest. Like like we've been talking about, he is not a cancel culture kind of guy, uh, but he'll he'll call a spade a spade. And I, I think that's what makes him so endearing to a lot of people. Damien jumped in. He said, Dave Chappelle of 2020. Uh, and he said, Chappelle is the next Nelson Mandela. Now, I don't know about that. Uh, I think that might be putting a little too much on him. But I, I think it is good to have people like this that, one, are educated on the subjects, and two, know how to know how to talk about it and get it out there. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, go do yourself a favor. It's 25 minutes of him talking, and it is fantastic and incredibly riveting. So I uh, I would recommend it. I would I would suggest that everybody go watch it. Chris, I assume you do the same. 